A selkie is a water being. They're found in Celtic and Norse mythology. They're gentle creatures who shed their skin and transform into humans arriving on land as affectionate and compassionate souls. Selkies typically seek out humans who are lacking in some way. Let it be lacking in love or kindness or company. And these stories about Selkies, they often end in heartbreak as the sea always calls them home. The term Selkie originates from the Orcadian word for seal. These creatures are frequent characters in Scottish folklore and mythology from the Northern Isles. For those who wish to catch a glimpse of a Selkie, the Northern Isles of Orkney and Shetland are the places to go, as the locals are eager to share their knowledge. Selkies are also known as seal people, sea people, or mermaids. Being half fish and half human, they resemble seals while in the water, but once they come on land, they shed their skin and assume the form of human. It's not uncommon for humans to be drawn to and fall in love with selkies. The selkie legend has endured through the ages, particularly in rural coastal communities on the islands. Selkie sightings have even been reported in modern times. According to legend, before coming ashore, selkies must shed their skin or their tail. If a human finds and hides the selkie's skin, the creature will be unable to return to the sea. In Irish folklore, men seek out and conceal a selkie skin before marrying a selkie woman. In Ireland, there are many famous stories about selkies, including the tale of Taddy Ruo Dowd, a clan chieftain who was tasked with finding a bride. Despite his best efforts, Daddy found it was difficult to choose a wife. One day, while walking on the beach, he stumbled upon a beautiful maiden combing her hair. She was naked, but wearing a magical cape or coat of some kind. Thaddy quickly grabbed her selkie coat and ran away, declaring his love for her at first sight. Without her fishtail, the selkie, known as Eve, was forced to return to Thaddy's love and marry him. And together they ruled the lands and raised seven children. However, Eve yearned for the sea her entire life. According to legend, despite the selkie cloak being well hidden, one of the children noticed Thaddy checking on it and informed his mother about the bag of gold. When Thaddy was away, Eve went to the location her child had told her about and did not find a bag of gold. She found her fish tail. She succumbed to the sea's allure, leaving to return to the ocean with her children. However, she couldn't take them all, so she turned five of them into rocks before swimming off into the waves with the remaining children under each arm. The legend of Thaddy and the Selkie is just one of many stories about these mystical creatures. The Selkie myth is believed to have originated when Scottish and Irish ancient peoples encountered Finnish or Sami travelers who were mistaken for Selkies due to their use of sealskin coats and kayaks. Even today, some might mistake the transformation from seal to human if they see someone removing their sealskin clothing and laying it out to dry on the rocks. This theory was proposed to be a Victorian-era folklorist, but it is worth considering. While encountering a Selkie in Ireland may be unlikely, those interested in Irish folklore will undoubtedly have heard these fascinating stories. And if you spend time on Ireland's coast, you may even yield yourself a good story about the memorable Selkie and the encounters that the locals may have had. These are Interesting Things with J.C.